Hello students, welcome to Adi Chemistry Online Coaching. I am Adi Chavarthan from AdiChemistry.com Varangal. In this enlightening presentation, you will learn how to calculate the velocity of an electron within a given Bohr's orbit using a simple shortcut formula. Okay, without wasting time, now let us see the formula that will enable us to determine the velocity of an electron. This is the formula where the velocity v is given by 2.18 into 10 power 6 z divided by n meter per second. Here the z represents the atomic number while n corresponds to the principal quantum number of Bohr's orbit. It is important to note that the velocity of the electron is expressed in SI units that is meters per second. I encourage you to note down this formula in a notebook and also commit it to your memory as it will help you when solving problems related to this subject matter. However, it is important to note that this formula is only applicable to chemical species that are isoelectronic with the hydrogen atom. You may be wondering what exactly is meant by isoelectronic. So don't worry. It is a rather straightforward concept. The atoms or ions with uh, an identical number of electrons are considered to be isoelectronic. For instance, the hydrogen atom and the helium unipositive ion are isoelectronic as they possess the same number of electrons. In hydrogen and helium plus, there is only one electron. Other examples are Li2 plus, BE3 plus etc. It is also crucial to consider the relationship between velocity, atomic number and principal quantum number. By examining the formula, we can simply deduce that the velocity decreases as the principal quantum number n increases, while it is directly proportional to the atomic number. These observations are reflected in the ratios for a given atom, the ratio of velocities of electrons in the first and second Bose orbits is 2 is to 1, indicating a decrease in the velocity as the distance from the nucleus increases. However, when comparing the velocities of electrons in hydrogen atom and a helium unipositive ion with the same n value, the ratio changes to 1 is to 2. This implies that the velocity of an electron in a helium ion is twice that of an electron in hydrogen atom considering the same n value. Now let us go through few problems and sharpen our skills by solving them. This is first problem. The velocity of an electron in the first Bohr's orbit of hydrogen atom is, here four options are given. You know that velocity is given by 2.18 into 10 power 6, z divided by n meter per second. Here uh, z is equal to 1 for hydrogen atom and n is equal to 1 because it is the first orbit. Just plug in the values, you will get the velocity equals to 2.18 into 10 power 6 meter per second. So the correct option is D. And this is the second problem. Here we have to calculate the velocity of an electron in the second Bohr's orbit of hydrogen atom. So, formula is same. Z is equal to 1 because it is hydrogen atom. But uh, N is equal to 2 because the electron is revolving in the second orbit. Just plug in these values. We will get 1.09 into 10 power 6 meter per second. You can clearly see the velocity is decreasing from uh, the first orbit to the second orbit. So the correct option is C.
now test your understanding by choosing the correct statement about velocity of electron in bohr's atom first statement is velocity decreases with atomic number in the second statement the velocity increases with radius of orbit the third one velocity is independent of atomic number and radius of orbit the fourth statement d velocity increases with atomic number so you had to choose the correct statement so you know the velocity increases with atomic number is the correct one so d is the correct option and this is the fourth problem you had to find out the velocity of an electron in the first bohr's orbit of helium uni positive ion formula is same and here z is equal to 2 because it is helium and n is equal to 1 because the electron is revolving in the first orbit just plug in the values you will get 4.36 into 10 power 6 meter per second just compare this value with that of hydrogen atom so the correct option is a that's all for now visit adichemistry.com for more information on this topic or search for adi chemistry velocity of electron don't forget to like share and subscribe